everybody, it's me, Mrs. Barnes. Hi, it's me, Mrs. Lindbergh. And Miss Jessica, hi. We're here at Broad Meadow Brook, collecting natural materials to turn into art. We took the Sprague Trail and followed the purple circle trail marker. We stayed on the trail and walked carefully so we wouldn't trip on any of the tree roots or the rocks along the way. We saw so many trees. Some trees had rough bark, some trees had white bark with dark gray spots, and some had moss and lichen growing on them. Some trees grow straight up to the sun and others bend a little as they grow. Some trees have a hollow area. This one looks like it has a little cave. What's inside? Look, an artist left a treasure. Sometimes mushrooms grow on the forest floor under the trees. During the fall season at Broad Meadow Brook, the leaves on the trees change color and fall to the forest floor. I'm going to collect some leaves and put them in my basket. Oh, look at the tiny acorn. I'll collect that too. Along the trail, I found a bright red maple leaf. That would be pretty in my art creation. Look! Somebody made a smiley face. One, two, three, four. Four smiley faces on the forest floor. When we reached the stream, we found a small head peeking out of the water. Do you know what it is? I tried to catch it, but it was too fast. I tried again, and this time I caught it. It's a very slippery green leopard frog. And just like that, it jumped back into the water. S splash. Then, we found another jumping creature. Look closely. See if you can see it. It was a toad who was too fast for us to catch. We also saw colorful woodland flowers yellow and purple and emerald green moss. Look, another artist left a treasure at the bottom of the tree. Look, up on the roof. It looks like a home. I wonder what built this home. We saw so many beautiful colors at Broadmeadow Brook, but it was getting dark and it was time for us to go home. Hi, boys and girls. I am so excited to show you my dragon puppet. I had so much fun on our adventure yesterday with Miss Jessica and Miss Lindbergh at Broadmeadow Brook. We collected so many leaves. I really didn't know where to start today, but I kept looking at this one leaf. It reminded me of fire. And then these leaves reminded me of eyes. So I get the idea of a dragon. He has wings to fly. And he has a long tail that moves. I just use one piece of tape on the back to connect him. I actually I made a lot of different tails. I kept changing it and changing it and changing it until I got it the way I liked it. I like it moving. So now we can make them fly. 
breathe raw, breathe fire, and then I made him four feet. So when he gets tired, he can rest. Now it's time to go to sleep. Maybe I will find him a book about dragons and read it to him. Well, I can't wait to see what you made with your nature pieces. See you next week. Hi everybody, for my project, I cut up some of those leaves into little tiny pieces, almost like confetti. Then I painted a tube with glue and rolled it in the leaves. So this is what I made, a vase with fall leaves collaged all over it. And look at what it will do. Ta-da! A fall vase for some pretty colorful leaves.